opportunity. I got a little warm. It's pretty chilly today. But I'm going to take this opportunity to show you in real life what I bring on my hikes when I'm going to paint. So today I really wanted to paint. I've got my backup mittens. And I've got my trusty pack here. Just looking around. It drops off right over here. I'm a safe distance. I'm not right on the edge. But I like to keep a good buffer and not be too, too fancy free. So I'm going to sit down. I've cut up an old mat of mine. Um, woo! Maybe I need to get a little bit closer. Let's see. So we're just unpacking this here. Let me see if I can get you to look down here with me. Here. How's that? Okay, so this I sit on. I guess I'll sit on it now. Because if you're sitting and painting, you can lose a lot of heat underneath you. And if it was really windy, I would keep my coat on. And I'll probably put it on if I'm seeing I love this hat because I can just open the front up like this. I also brought hot tea with my sticker on it. This is one of my favorite stickers. And it's funny because as I was hiking in, I was thinking and looking at the ground that's hibernating right now and remembering where all of these flowers are going to pop up. In just a few months. In a few months, it will be time. So, I brought my favorite little travel. This is a big clip. My travel um, watercolor palette, it's wooden. And I made this, and I've made a lot of other ones, and I actually have them for sale on my website. But this one's out of cherry, and it's super lightweight, and it has all the colors that I love. I even brought an extra my friend Bree from Documented Journey sent me a sample of a letter sparrow handmade paints in this little acorn. And um, this one I think is her gamboge color and I love it. So I wanted to bring it out today with me and it'll fit right there. So I'm gonna set that right here in my cork cover, which is super lightweight and nice to have. And then my little bag I've got my trusty pencil. I use a Kaweco pencil. Um, I like it because of how wide it is. It's really, really comfortable for me in my hands. And it's short, so it's not going to get in the way of my bag. Then I've got my trusty little travel. This is the watercolor moleskin um, notebook. And I have painted this view. I think I showed you the view already, but I've painted this view so many times. It's one of my favorite spots. And uh, let me see if I can show you. I think I've shown you before, but hmm. Ah, there she is. And this is a winter version of this spot right here where I'm sitting. I did this in February, so not too, a couple years ago, this exact same spot. And then I have my trusty water. I have two of these. I'll pack it in. I'll pack it out. I actually even forgot to change it into clean water for this one, so that'll be my dirty. I've got an old rag towel. I've got my little palette. This is made by a mist of horses. It's ceramic. I've shown you this before, but I absolutely love it. It's mixing space for my wooden palette, and I don't have a problem with that at all. I actually really like it because um, that way I'm not folding over a mixing palette onto my paints, like a lot of um, traditional travel kits are, and I'll set that right there. And then I have my travel brushes, and these are all a very, and I've got my polymer eraser, but I probably won't use that today. I've got a set of business cards, I've got a little spray bottle of water, and then I've got my, this is, um, it's rubbed off, but it's the black, silver, velvet, silver, silver, black, velvet, you know, all those words mixed up into one, and then a couple other versions of, um, uh, the word is, 
Yeah, I can't think of the word right now. It begins with a K. Kalinsky Sable. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna have to wet that because I get so nervous about putting it back inside. And last but not least, I thought I might want to work a little bit larger today because I typically will work small. So I bought my brought my Hanamule cotton watercolor sketchbook. I really love this one and I haven't taken it out in the field very often. Um, for the last thing I think I painted in the field is I did the rhododendrons. These are, this has a shorter leaf, so these are mountain laurels. Um, but I'm excited to do some on-site painting today. So let's find, oh, I did on-site painting here. It was at another spot kind of up um, on a different trail, but in the same area. I haven't finished doing the ink on this yet. So I'm excited to um, do a little painting and show you what I get done. Thanks for coming out. So I'm back in my house now, I've warmed up, made some soup, and um, what I'm going to show you is how I personally do my sketchbook journals. I will typically do this kind of quick painting, lay out sort of this scene on location, but I love to come back and it may be the same day or the next day or a week from now and I'll revisit it as a memory. And that is one of my favorite ways to work on something like this because it puts me into that zone of how did it feel to be there? And so I'm not being overwhelmed with, am I getting the colors exactly like what I saw? But I'm focusing more on how did it make me feel? What did, what were the sensations of the colors and the atmosphere and the sun and all of that? So that's what I work on at this stage. So this is my studio palette. You'll notice that um, I try to just keep my travel kit in my bag. So I, I live in a place where I can take a hike kind of on a whim. A, my neighbor will call and it's like, okay, I'll meet you, you know, in 30 minutes. And so I like to keep all that together so I'm not scrambling. So I have, this is my desk palette. It's got just a few more colors than my other one. I have a different water, I've got a bigger palette, and I don't use the travel brushes here, so sorry my soup is in the way, but I'm just going to show you how I begin to work on this, and I'm going to do a more, um, I'm going to speed it up for the sake of this video, but I'm going to do a more um, in-depth walkthrough with my Patreon account. Um, if you're interested in that, you can check it out, and... Um, by and joined me today feel free to check out the links below for my online sketchbook course my shop and my patreon until next time happy painting